nguồn gốc và sự tiến hóa của nhân loại phần 4 trong 15 phần trong tiết mục giữa thầy và trò được giảng bằng tiếng Anh ngày 25 tháng 10 năm 2007 ở Paris, Pháp. We pray for Ukraine or you reign. They're beautiful beings, very, very affectionate. Like when I, I feed the swarm people, sometimes I don't recognize at a glance which one is which, you know? You know, I say, are you Sai Sai? He said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That means yes. And when he sees me put the bread down, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, waking tail, waking like a dog. Yes. And the, the ducks even, you know, before I went with a with a golf car and when I turned around, it made beep, beep, beep sound. They knew it already. The whole family came waiting at the shore, waking tail and <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Oh, just like family members. And the swan even tried to protect me, like a dog. But you'll know all that later. <laughs> yeah, in the book, yeah? He protects my feelings. Yeah. Okay, I might as well tell you. Just one part. <laughs> one time, I, I camp next to where they stay on the island, small island. I camp on it. And uh, in the morning, one day I heard very loud noise from the birds, the coots, and the crested grape or whatever. I went out and have a look, and I saw a duck mother because she was very protective of her child. She was almost drowned in a coot, you know? You know, she bit him and harassed him so much. Oh, I was appalled. I said, my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe what you're doing. You see that? I told the swan, you know, the swan <laughs> were next to me. They were on the island with me nearby, next to my tent. You see that? Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I was so hurt. I was, it was so painful for me to see that. So my God, she almost killed her. I think she's killing her. Well, nobody there, I'm just telling the swan. And you know, Sai, the, the male swan, he left his nest. He was just preening himself, and when he heard me, he looked at me, and he left the nest. He went all the way down, chased the duck away. And then he just came back. He didn't bite him, he just chased that duck away. And then he came back to me, and he looked at me. <laughs> yeah. And I said, thank you, but I still feel very hurt. I didn't believe you guys do this to each other. I was <laughs> talking like I was screaming. I said, they hurt my feelings. They hurt that good, like it hurts me. I was talking to the swan, and he understood it. He left his nest, came to chase away gently, you know? Shoo, 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 uh, out, away out of my sight. And then he returned to his nest with his kids, his children. And he looked at me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, yeah. <laughs> I scolded her, something like that, yeah. You don't need to be so psychic to understand. Many times they just make me feel so good, so good, you know? I mean, I was very upset, very sad, and he knew that, and he just made me feel, I understand, you know, I do something about it. He did it, yeah. My God, you must, you must be there to know, because to tell you in words is not really anything. That, that's the best I can do. But you must be there to know, to feel it, to feel what I feel, and to know the communication yeah, between us. He really did something for me, yeah. And uh, sometimes he chases the duck away, yeah? Uh, or he chases, mostly he doesn't chase the duck, it's just the geese. The geese are as big as them, and I have the same food and the same, you know, uh, impressive presence, so he doesn't like it. Especially when he has babies, are very aggressive. Don't ever try to, to do anything or go near when they have babies, okay? I don't guarantee. Very aggressive. But they just know me, so they let me go. Huh? They let me come next to them, like just like this, huh? in the middle of the night. 
because I thought they were going to hatch in the morning, so I had to take the photo <laughs> when they came out. So I dragged the tent, you know, in the middle of the night, went next to her nest, and said, I'm going to camp tonight, okay? <laughs> and that's it. And I said, mm -hmm. and then I made a camp. <laughs> and they didn't do anything. But one time I took a stick because I saw the mother swan would had a stick from the nest, you know, sticking next to her neck. And I used the stick to want to remove that stick out. And she caught him. She caught him back and he flew back from far away, flew back right away. And he came to me. Ah, what do you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know? I said, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know I'm good for you. I'm good. Huh? I just tried to help. And he calmed down right away. When he heard me, he said, I just wanted to help. He put his, you know, all the... Calm down, you know, not... <laughs> <laughs> because when he's angry, he makes himself four or five times bigger. And he stretched his neck to the sky and came at me. <laughs> I threw the stick away. I said, no, I just wanted to help. And he calmed down right away. And he when went back to the water. He didn't even stand there to watch me go. No, he went back to the water. All things come, you know, <laughs> slim back his body immediately. And he understood everything I said. In English, <laughs> believe it or not, yeah. Of course, we don't always need to use language, but we humans, you know, use a human language and forgot, you know. I said, I'm good, I'm good. No, you know I'm good to you, right? I just want to help. And when he heard the word help, he immediately put his things down and just went to the water, minding his own business, went far away. Didn't even stay in here, make sure or anything, no, no. Yeah, and normally, the. Uh, if I go with the attendant, you know, with a male attendant, oh, he comes around the boat and he just tries to stop the boat. He just runs in front of the boat, back and forth, back and forth. And if you don't listen, he will come, fly up to the boat and uh, want to attack you because of the, the eggs, you know? And then I thought, oh, it's too, too much trouble to go with the boat because he might fly on top of the boat anytime. He's on top of us. He has more advantage, yeah? He did not attack quite yet, but he's very aggressive and it scares you, you know? So I thought I'd build a bridge across, you know, and a kind of very primitive bridge. But I can go on it, yeah? Just put some cables and then put some fans on it <laughs> and tie it. I said, then I can walk on the fence on top of water and go to the island. But before that, he went around. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you coming from here and all that? I said, no, no, I just want to help you, okay? Listen, I'm just going to build a bridge, a very small bridge, no hindrance to you running around the lake. I'm just wanting to help in case your children need help, because I cannot go by boat to feed your partner and your children when they're born. I want to help you. So he just doesn't do anything. He immediately lets you, and he relaxes. He runs around, but he doesn't puff himself up or he doesn't threaten you. He understands everything. So in case you encounter the wow in any way, by chance, and if they threaten you, no? you just tell them, calm, calm now, I, I'm harmless. I'm good, I'm good, okay? I'm good. And they, they will understand. Explain to them why you are there and what you're doing. They understand everything. But be quick, huh? <laughs> Not fast, huh? Wait, tiger. Yeah. Wait a minute, tiger. <laughs> Talk fast. Talk fast. <laughs> okay. But don't just go any in the wow and meet the wow or anything. If you want to feed them, okay, be distant until they know you, until you're sure. Yeah. But you're never sure, okay? It depends on your energy, huh? Yeah. Sometimes if you just have a little aggressive in your head, he knows it. Because one time I was so mad at him because he shoo all the geese away, you know? When I want to feed them, he shoo them. He owned the whole egg. So <laughs> his name is written all over it. So I said, Shai, you are so bad. You're so bad, so bad. Hmm? I really don't like your manner. You, you have to change it. Yeah? But he didn't listen. <laughs> Ah, and the next time I scold him again, but he felt no, very sorry. He said sorry. And then he said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. I said, then just don't do it. And he said, okay. Next day he did the same again. <laughs> so I was angry. I'm too lazy to talk to him. I said, I'm too lazy to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. Go away. Go away. Eat and go. <laughs> and then I said to my attendant, you know, I said, oh, you know what? 
I want to catch this guy <laughs> so that others can come and eat easily because he looks like he just monopolized the whole egg and I can't even feed the other geese because he has egg, you know. So he watches the whole leg. Day and night, he doesn't sleep a wink, I'm telling you. Wow. Yes. Only after the kids were born and the girl woke a little bit, one time I caught him sleeping. You know how I know it? He snored. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, what did I say? Oh, I was saying to my attendant only, well, I want to catch this guy, and then we can feed every other creature that comes along. Okay, I just said to my attendant, but I didn't do anything. Next day, he saw me. <laughs> <laughs> he came with five times bigger than his body, come to me. <gasps> oh, he snatched the, the bread back from my hand before I even had a chance to open it. It's okay, eat it. <laughs> you know, and I, I, I walk away, and his partner, you know, feeling very ashamed, you know, she, she, she took all the children and went away from him. Yeah, it felt bad for me, you know, mm -hmm. sorry, and took all the kids away. <laughs> we didn't fight with him, but show him that she disapproves. <laughs> yeah, and you don't know, you don't know how much she talks to me, this one. The girl, huh? Mm -hmm. The boy understands no language, the girl also. But the inside communication, she can see oh, thousands of years ahead and behind. Oh. Yeah, she tells me who's good, who's not good. <laughs> Whoever comes near, who's not good. Yeah, she tells me a lot of things. Yeah, okay, anyway, go eat. See you later. Mm -hmm.